a day of an almost constant exchange of shells and artillery fire at the Kurdish regional government's border with Iraq. Over three weeks, Kurdish Peshmerga forces have retreated from south of the city of Kirkuk back towards their own territory. Some Kurds have left their homes in the disputed territories as Iraqi forces have pushed forward. I go in to see my friend in Dubas. I seen too many things, too many Iranian and Iraq army. And how many? Well, uh, more than more than five thousand tank and hammer. And this night is just coming. Some Peshmerga forces stationed in Altin Kupri, some 45 kilometers outside Kirkuk, have been forced back by an Iraqi barrage. As they sped towards safety, the Kurdish government brought regular troops to the front line. The fighting is intensifying and it's worrying for the Kurdish regional government because it's now right on the border of their autonomous region. The fighting is becoming closer. Iraqi forces, the Golden Division, Federal Police, with heavy weaponry, are on these hills right near this border, just a few kilometers away. Erbil is just half an hour's journey from the officially recognized border between the KRG and Iraq. At the evening bazaar, the fighting is too close for comfort for some, but others believe the current situation will end peacefully. I want to say USA and UN to help us, please to help us. The fighting is near in here. You want to, to come to Erbil. And the lives of people is not uh, good now. In the last three days, the situation in Erbil has changed, but hopefully everything will be better and, like before, in the future. After a day of shelling at the border, Iraqi artillery started to find their range within the Kurdish-held territory, and there was a stampede for safety. People rushed into their vehicles to try and escape. Another reminder how, in just three weeks, life in northern Iraq has changed for the Kurds. Yolo Aftavi, TRT World, at the Kurdish regional border.